Once and for all, this is a short roll. This is a long roll. What's happening, y'all? A lot of possibilities for long rolls and short rolls in that tune. We're gonna break down the difference. It occurred to me uh, after I'd received a couple of comments recently asking that very question, what's the difference between long rolls and short rolls? That I've never really answered that before. Uh, I've had a few folks ask, I've answered those questions in the comments, but it occurred to me I've never really done a video breaking down the difference. And there is a difference. The movements are pretty similar, but they're kind of used in a little bit different spots. Let's talk about the first roll first, the long roll, make sure we're all on the same page, and then we'll talk about the short rolls and when to use them. For purposes of this demonstration here, we're gonna use the note G. Here's a long roll. All right, you get the long main melody note first, followed by a cut and then a tap. Well, I take it back. Long melody note, a cut, then the melody note itself, and then a tap. short roll is the same thing except without that first main melody note. So in this case, you notice how we're just starting with the cut first, and that's really the main distinction. You're not starting with a main melody note, you're starting with a cut in the short roll. Otherwise, it's exactly the same. We cut on the first note, and then we play the main melody note itself, and then a tap again. You hear the difference between the two? I like to use short rolls as a stronger ornament than just a single grace note. Um, so I, I tend to use them at the end of phrases where a, a strong downbeat would be expected or, or the tune would kind of anticipate that. A great way to end a phrase too. You hear how it's just a little bit stronger than that extra little tap on the end gives it an extra nice kind of push, I think, and, and signifies that that beat is a little bit more um, important or a little bit stronger than maybe the one before it. Just like with the full rolls, you want both sides of that movement to be nice and quick and in time, in time with each other. Nice and quick and punchy. That's really what you're going for. But when you're practicing, definitely take the time to practice it nice and slow, just like you would with the regular roll. can practice those short rolls nice and slow too. And I would definitely recommend that uh, because the speed will come, uh, but ultimately you do want it to get nice and quick because it's meant to be a very short, sharp, uh, strong kind of an accent. I hope this helps break it down a little bit. Um, let me know if I can answer any more questions about that down below. Quick and dirty one, hopefully this helps. Let me know y'all. See you guys in the next one.